welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon with Main Street and Beyond Travel Company. Today I am here at the Magic Kingdom because many of you have been requesting for me to show you rides for infants and toddlers at the Magic Kingdom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go land by land. We're going to go over each ride, height requirements, say if infants can go on them like as a lab ride or anything like that. So I'm ready. I'm excited. It's pretty busy here today and a cavalcade's coming. So let's get this started. <laughs> walking down Main Street USA we took a left and we're heading into Adventureland here there's gonna be a few rides here actually that are really good for kids they do have the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse your kids can climb up and play in if they want to Jungle Cruise you can take an infant on the Jungle Cruise or a toddler anybody can go on the Jungle Cruise if they want and just have to sit on your lap um, there's a couple other rides here you have Aladdin's Magic Carpets and you also have the Tiki Room and Pirates of the Caribbean. Tiki Room, I know for sure infants and kids and toddlers can go into, but we're gonna check on the other. All right, we have made our way now over to Pirates of the Caribbean where I have confirmed toddlers, infants, anyone can go on Pirates of the Caribbean if they wish. So this is a great land because your little infants and toddlers and kids can go on everything. So head to Adventureland and they can go on all the rides. All right, so we have made our way from Adventureland, just kept walking through into Frontierland. And here's where we may hit a snag because this land has Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain, which both have high requirements. I'll tell you about those shortly. Um, and then really there's not much else here. You can go see, however, the Country Bear Jamboree where you can bring your infant into. So Frontierland, Again, just the Country Bear Jamboree for infants, but we're gonna go check on those height requirements for Splash Mountain and for Big Thunder Mountain right now. All right, made my way over to Splash Mountain in Frontierland where I can confirm the height requirement for this ride is 40 inches. So I would say smaller children and up. I wouldn't say, in, well, definitely not infants and toddlers probably a no for this ride. Um, so it is 40 inches. I would measure your child before you come too to see how close they are. Um, to be able to ride on this ride. Let's go check and see what the high requirement is for Big Thunder Mountain now. All right, I have made my way over here to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad where I have confirmed that this is also a 40 inch high requirement. So if they can ride Big Thunder Mountain, they can ride Splash Mountain and vice versa. At the beginning of each line, there is also like a height checker. So be sure that your kids are 40 inches because they're gonna make them check multiple, multiple times. I do just want to take a second here and give honorable mention to Tom Sawyer Island that is over there. You will need to take these little wraps you see in the water to get over there. But there really aren't any rides over there. You just kind of walk around and we're making our way from Frontierland. This is Frontierland over here all the way on this path over here into Liberty Square. All right, I am here in Liberty Square now. Liberty Square is another great area for kids, infants, toddlers, because they can go on everything here too, which is the Haunted Mansion, what we're making our way to right now. They also have the Hall of Presidents, which is just a show, and they also have a ferry boat ride here. So infants, toddlers, kids of all ages, you're good to go in Liberty Square. All right, as we made our way through Liberty Square, we are now into Fantasyland, which is another big winner for infants, toddlers, because pretty much everything here they can go on except Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which we're gonna head over to and give you a high requirement to shortly. But I mean, everything else, Small World, Peter Pan's Flight, The Carousel, they have Philhar Magic, The Show, Winnie the Pooh, I'm trying to think, Little Mermaid, all of those infants, toddlers, children can go on. So let's go find out the height requirement for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. All right, made our way over to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train where the height requirement is 38 inches here. So again, um, probably like older toddlers or smaller children can go on this ride, but definitely not infants. All right, the only thing we pretty much have left now is going to be Tomorrowland. Um, and then of course, um, the storybook area, which Dumbo, um, kids can go on Dumbo. Um, for Tomorrowland, kids and infants can go on Buzz Lightyear. 
they can also go on tomorrow or Indie Land uh, tomorrow, Tomorrowland Speedway. I always get that name mixed up for some reason. We just want to head out because it is super hot today and so, so crowded. It's a holiday weekend at Disney, which try to avoid these as much as you can because it will be packed at Disney on holiday weekend. So, and it's February, normally a non-busy time here, but it's slam packed. So again, um, I think that's about it. We're going to wrap up our time here at Magic Kingdom. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and until next time,